everyone, welcome, welcome. My name is Sam Green, and I do hope you are all on a fantastic day. Of course, my name is Sam Green, and uh, let's discuss Cardiff City, my team, of course, the Bluebirds. Now, there's been tons and tons of speculation already. Um, there's been rumours of Fabianski from Swansea City, the arch rivals of Cardiff City, of course. And uh, there's been other rumours like Rondon. I mean, Rondon could be the rumour of the window for us. Um, him and Andre Gray, Andre Gray from Watford. I prefer Gray over Rondon personally just because of the Rondon is similar to Zahur and Andrew Gray is a bit smaller than Zahur so he's got the pace he can run past defenders we can sing a new song oh we oh super Andre Gray oh we oh runs past defenders oh we oh he never gives a ball away that that could be a good t song for Andre Gray if he ever did come to Cardiff. Um, of course, the Bluebirds season is over. We're promoted, and by God, we're in the Premier League. Great things happening at the Bluebirds at the moment. So, without further and said and due, let's kick things off with Mr. Neil Wownock. Um, Warnock, the best manager ever, really. And then Dave Jones and then Malcolm Mackay. Um, people might say Malky second, but Dave Jones did give us Chopper and Buffoid and Bellamy and Whitson, all them juicy good players. Um, but with this season, I think is a, I think this season has been a great season for Cardiff. I told my dad, I told everyone I know. That on the on the time when I went to Burton when we won, I said that day that we were going up, and uh, they didn't believe me. But we're up now, and yeah, it's like Warnock said, it's better than playing in the championship. <laughs> uh, commiserations, I think that's the word. Uh, commiserations for. Stoke, West Brom, and maybe Swansea because obviously I'm a kind of fan, so I did want Swansea to stay up so we could have had that rival. Um, and be, I mean, on one end of the scale, people wanted them down and we're up, so but on the other end, people wanted the whole nation of UK fan football fans. To watch a good Welsh derby, and uh, yeah, it's a shame that we're not going to get that, but it is what it is, and good job for Southampton. Now, I'll discuss more with Cardiff, but I just got to say that the teams who've gone down to their two managers have been sacked Stoke and Swansea. But the one that remained was the West Brom manager. Now West Brom is a team that none of us would even think about going down at the start of the season. People thought the newcomers like Newcastle, Huddersfield, more so Huddersfield and Brighton of course could go the opposite direction and go down. But they have survived pretty much epic season for them. And... I want to congratulate Rafa and the managers for Brighton and Huddersfield because they have done an exceptional job. Um, us Cardiff fans have no pressure really going in the season in the Prem. Just We need to just enjoy ourselves because, like, what else is there to do? Um, you got all the uh, all the pundits like Gary Lineker and all that saying, "Oh, these 
These are challenge inside Cardiff City, so some teams will have to rotate and all that. Not Man City, but obviously it is nice to see Cardiff City back where we belong, back in the Premier League, back in blue. And uh, I haven't got the blue kit on, I haven't got... Because oh, I got like a load of old kits that are blue, but they're too small for me to wear now. So I will for sure though film a vlo little vlog for the channel for when I get the new blue Premier League kit with the badges on. By the way, I'm not missing them out. They would definitely go on my sleeves because Premier League baby, here we come. Uh, around 12th of June, the fixtures are out, so so it's going to be interesting to know who we get first. So, so yeah, so it's a sunny, gorgeous day outside. Pretty epic, though. Um, so, yeah, great times ahead for the Bluebirds and a great season ahead. Um, Obviously, Cardiff fans, us Cardiff fans, of course I'm a Cardiff fan. Do. Yeah. Um, comment below what you think, how you think the season will pan out. I believe Cardiff can survive. I mean, Cardiff can go 17th, I think. Well, Cardiff fans really just could take that 17th. At least we're still in the Prem, innit? But I have a feeling we can do better than 17th, maybe 15th, if we're lucky. Um, I think that there'll be new, there'll be, there, there'll be the same amount that go down that are already Premier League experienced. So someone like a Watford or someone like... Even Leicester still could come go down with their manager, so you never know really. I mean, Southampton could go down. You never know. If Southampton go down next season, then there's two more slots. I, I know Cardiff fans will be like, oh, don't predict Cardiff going down, otherwise that will happen. Well... Wolves are setting their sights high into the table. So why can't Cardiff? I mean, I know Wolves fans want Champions League within years to come. So, I mean, if they want that, go for it. I mean, I don't know what what's missing from their team that could uh, that could potentially leap the leap for Arsenal or someone. So, Southampton will go down next season. That's a given. Unless they get like a proper good manager. Which is epic. And, uh, yeah. And, pretty epic. Um, pretty epic indeed. Uh, Sorry, I've just seen my neighbour spy on me like hell. Um, so, yeah, so... The uh, Cardiff team will need some new players in. Um, we need players such as Peter Crouch. I know people might say he's 36, he's past it, but he scored against Swansea at the final day and he has not passed it, so... Peter Crouch, I want anyway. Uh, ben Woodburn from Liverpool alone. Um, people, some people are saying that there's rumours that Cardiff are after Joe Allen. That would be a, that would be a crunch signing. That would be a signing of the century for Cardiff. Um, high quality Premier League player, of course, don't deserve to go down. So, but they have been poor all season. So. It's fitting that uh, a Welsh, I know he's former Jack, but if he helps Cardiff secure safety in the Prem, go for it, mate. Um, I mean, he's, he, without a shadow of a doubt, he is a, 
an incredible talent, Joe Allen, and you wouldn't put it past him. Um, so yeah, I think that's where we're going to end things here. Um, I think that I said a load of stuff which Cardiff fans would be thinking of already. Um, it's been a great season in the EFL Championship. I rate that season, of course, 10 out of 10 because people were writing us off from day one. People think we were going down. We weren't because we are Premier League. So thank you for watching. Bits from the action will return. Whether that's within the friendlies there and beyond is beyond me. Get it? Um, and uh, yeah, so a great season to come for the Bluebirds. Can't wait for the fixtures. The 12th of June, 9 a.m. So be be ready for them. And uh, yeah, I'll be covering all the matches on bits from the action from all the grounds. The big boys as well. So yeah, so thank you for watching. Of course, the Bluebirds are flying high once again. And without further said and due. We're going up. Thanks for watching, subscribe if you love, can't see and I'll see you next time.